She is queen of the trailer park. The Tennessee Tram, Janet Williams. Let's give her a big hand. So I had to act really sad. So um, when I got home, I go, oh my God, you're not going to believe it, but your mother fell in the wood chipper. <laughs> and he just broke down. I had no idea that they were really that close. And um, <laughs> he said, did she say anything before she died? I said, yes, she did. She said, you were adopted. And I... Um, <laughs> Therapy. I'm happy as hell. <laughs> he goes, well, I need to see your license. I said, they're in the trunk of my car and my purse. He goes, let's go. So I go, I am reaching in the trunk of my car to get my license, whereupon I will hand them to Officer Albright. And he says to me, ma'am, why are you talking to me like this? I said, because I watch True TV. <laughs> you bastard beat down some elderly bitches before. <laughs> uh, don't you think I'm making a false move? I said, I've never been pulled over, never had an accident, never had a license check. Goes to and here's what he said. Ma'am, are you on drugs? <laughs> and I'm like, you're very kind, very in tune. As a matter of fact, I'm on a lot of drugs. I am. Uh, I'm on Invalex, because a lot of times when I sneeze or cough, I'll piss on myself. <laughs> high cholesterol, arthritis, I'm on a lot of drugs. And then he says, are you on illegal drugs? I said, are you paying any attention to me? How in the hell could I afford illegal drugs? <laughs> After all these damn prescriptions, okay? Probably lower the feet. I get up bright and early, Monday morning, I call the Baton Rouge Courthouse, real young girl answers the phone, real young. She sounded very young, she sounded thin, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> Sound like she was hungry, she did, and um, so I explained everything to her, and uh, she goes, that'll be $178. I said, well, Officer Albright said you probably lower the fee, and I said, uh, how, how, how's that going to work, and she got real attitude. She said, I said $178. I said, fine, I will send you a certified check for $178, and I will never blow Officer Albright again. <laughs> They, they solve every problem, and I got poise pads. Uh, yeah, you guys don't know shit about those, but I'll tell you, how other ladies, and you don't know anything about them. But they're these uh, pantyhose, not really pantyhose, they're pads, and uh, they come in sizes. I didn't realize that till tonight when I got that bag and came over here and put on one. These are extra long. I thought they just came in regular, okay? So uh, the front comes up to here, and the back comes up to here. <laughs> I've got about six pounds of cotton between my legs. Right now. cotton balls again. Uh, <laughs> I put the toothpicks up, I can make Q-tips. Crazy <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also wearing Spanx. You don't know shit about Spanx, but these heavy duty pantyhose. Takes about 30 minutes to put some bitches on. <laughs> Waist comes up to here to make sure two dress sizes smaller. Yeah. Put them on when I was driving over here tonight. My gut put that over the waistband. <laughs> Down the top of my legs. <laughs> Made like a tourniquet, it did. Uh, the EMT said they hadn't got to me when they did. I thought I said, <laughs> You play your cards while I show you the line. I will turn you on one way or the other. <laughs> You're going to be our designated driver. <laughs> so, did y'all all ride together? Yeah. That's good because she can ride back home with um, <laughs> yeah, your uncle and that lady. <laughs> They're where? They're uh, one's in Chicago and one's a couple miles away. Did you say they'd gone to the forest? No. <laughs> <laughs> they divorced. <laughs> well, y'all are going to be two, it's not a big deal. <laughs> Just a handsome boy, you know. You're like, I'm going to go to a comedy club and see the Tennessee Tramp and uh, I'm going to put my hat on backwards. Because <laughs> it makes a fashion statement, it does. And, um, you're just cute as you can be. You got on those little tennis shoes and garlic socks. She dressed you, didn't it? Because that screams you're getting no pussy is what it screams. <laughs> uh, that guy over 
there and said, it does scream at, it, it does. <laughs> has your dad remarried? Yes. Of course he has. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, are you? I'll get him on the phone after this show. I can fix that relationship. How about your mom? Did she remarry? No. No? You know why? She's stable. She hung in there with that bastard and yet you raised is what she did. Well, has your dad remarried? Yes. Of course he has. <laughs> Dad, are you? I'll get him on the phone after this show. I can fix that relationship. How about your mom? Did she remarry? No. No? You know why? She's stable. She hung in there with that bastard and yet you raised is what she did. Well, I'm a 10 in Baghdad. Uh, yeah, uh, three weeks ago in Chattanooga, I danced at, at a strip club, Diamonds and Lace, and I, I made the local news. Uh, I got butt naked and did a split. <laughs> it took four men from the audience rocking me from side to side to break the side <laughs> Weight staff really well. If you're gonna leave five, leave ten. If you're gonna leave ten, leave twenty. Because they don't want vibrators and that shit ain't cheap, okay? <laughs> now, in closing, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I've got no standards. I want you to know when it comes to dating, I've got the highest standards. I never date a man that wears his name on his belt. You got your name on your belt? You're a cute little fucker. I'd make an exception. <laughs> his name on his belt. Never date a man that wears zipper boots or draws an El Camino. Because if you don't know who you are, can't tie your shoes, and don't know whether you want a car or a truck, <laughs> you can't do shit for me.